This blitz is called Aces, it's out of the 44 defense. This is a very good inside pressure play. Now, this defensive tackle, he's got A gap. This defensive tackle is going to slant to B. Now, when this defensive tackle slants to B, he has to dip and rip through the outside shoulder of the guard. These kids can't run around blocks, they got to rip through him. He must maintain his B gap responsibility. This DN is going to have C. He's going to be the primary contain player on this side. This defensive end is going to have C. This Will has, con um, excuse me, this sandbacker has contain. This corner is locked up on that receiver, man to man. He must maintain inside leverage. Do not allow any inside releases. You could have him up in press or you could have him off giving some cushion. Same thing with this corner. He's up in press, press man. Taking away the inside of the split end. You could have him in press or you could have him off. Whatever, whatever you want to do. But no inside releases. The same, um, excuse me, the strong safety. is going to have this slot man to man. We also like to have our slot take away the inside. So you could have him square up or you could have him take away the inside. It's whatever you want to do. This free safety. is going to stay deep middle. So you're in a cover one look. This Mike Backer, as soon as the quarterback begins his cadence, he's coming up and he's blitzing B. We want the mic right at the line, right on the line as soon as he blitzes. Blitzing two, three, four yards back isn't going to do anything. He needs to get there, so he needs to come up on the line of scrimmage. But he, do, he only starts creeping up when the quarterback begins his cadence. Same deal for the Will here, Will Backer. As soon as the quarterback begins his cadence, he's going to creep up. He's coming to A gap. So it's important you don't want him creeping up on the line. You want him about two yards away from the line so he could slant real hard to A gap. And if you want to cheat him over, have him walk up cheating over a little bit to, so he could get to that A gap easier, that's fine. This is basically just a gap blitz on this side, and this is a twist stunt on the left side. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. In the description, I put a link to an article I wrote about the 44 defense and a whole bunch of different blitz packages. It's an excellent article, it goes into great detail, it has play diagrams and videos for every blitz package.